Svaneti or Svanisha Swania in ancient sources, Georgian, Svaneti Svaneti is a historic province of Georgia, in the northwestern part of the country. It is inhabited by the Svans, an ethnic subgroup of Georgians. Geography <laughs> 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 Situated on the southern slopes of the Central Caucasus Mountains and surrounded by 3,000 to 5,000 meter peaks, Svaneti is the highest inhabited area in the Caucasus. Four of the ten highest peaks of the Caucasus are located in the region. The highest mountain in Georgia, Mount Shikara at 5,201 meters feet, is located in the province. Prominent peaks include Tetnudi 4974 meters 16319 feet, Shoda Rustaveli 4960 meters 16273 feet, Mount USHBA 4710 meters 15453 feet, Ilama 4525 meters 14842 feet, as well as Lalveri, Latska and others. Svaneti has two parts corresponding to two inhabited valleys. Upper Svaneti, Zemo Svaneti on the upper Ingori River, administratively part of Samagrelo Zemo Svaneti, main town Mestia. Lower Svaneti, Kvimo Svaneti on the upper Skeniskali River, administratively part of Racha Lechkami and Kvimo Svaneti, main town Lentekadi are separated by the Svaneti Range which is almost as high as the main Caucasus Range. Historical Svaneti also included the Kodori Gorge in the adjoining rebel province of Abkhazia, and part of the adjacent river valleys of Kuban and Baksan north of the crest of the Caucasus. Writing in 1848, Bodenstedt said that Upper Svaneti could only be reached by a difficult footpath which was closed in winter. Landscape <inaudible> 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 The landscape of Svaneti is dominated by mountains that are separated by deep gorges. Most of the region which lies below 1,800 meters 5,904 feet above sea level is covered by mixed and coniferous forests. The forest zone is made up of tree species such as spruce, fir, beech, oak, and hornbeam. Other species that are less common but may still be found in some areas include chestnut, birch, maple, pine and box. The zone which extends from 1,800 meters to roughly about 3,000 meters 5,904 to 9,840 feet above sea level consists of alpine meadows and grasslands. Eternal snows and glaciers take over in areas that are over 3,000 meters above sea level. The region is notable for its glaciers and picturesque summits. Svaneti's signature peak is probably Mount USHBA which towers over the Ingori Gorge and can be seen from many parts of the region. Topic: <laughs> Climate. The climate of Svaneti is humid and is influenced by the air masses coming in from the Black Sea throughout the year. Average temperatures and precipitation vary considerably with elevation. Annual precipitation ranges between 1,000 and 3,200 mm (39 and 126 inches). The highest amount of precipitation falls on the Greater Caucasus Mountains. The region is characterized by very heavy snowfall in the winter, and avalanches are a frequent occurrence. Snow cover may reach 5 meters (16.4 feet) in some areas. In general, the lowest regions of Svaneti 800 to 1200 meters, 2624 to 3936 feet above sea level are characterized by long warm summers and relatively cold and snowy winters. Middle altitudes 1200 to 1800 meters above sea level experience relatively warm summers and cold winters. Areas above 2,000 meters above sea level lie within a zone that experiences short, cool summers less than three months and long and cold winters. Large parts of Svaneti lie above 3,000 meters 9,840 feet above sea level, a zone which does not have a real summer. Due to Svaneti's close proximity to the Black Sea, the region is spared from the extremely cold winter temperatures that are characteristic of high mountains. History 
The Svans are usually identified with the Sones mentioned by Greek geographer Strabo, who placed them more or less in the area still occupied by the modern-day Svans. The province had been a dependency of Colchis, and of its successor kingdom of Lazica until AD 552, when the Svans took advantage of the Lazic War, repudiated this connection and went over to the Persians. The Byzantines wanted the region, for if they secured its passes, they could prevent Persian raids on the border areas of Lazica. With the end of the war 562, Svanisha again became part of Lazica. Then, the province joined the Kingdom of Abkhazia to form a unified monarchy which was incorporated into the Kingdom of Georgia in the early 11th century. Svanisha became a duchy within it, governed by a duke the province's orthodox culture flourished particularly during the Georgian Golden Age under Queen Tamar R. 1184-1213, who was respected almost as goddess by the Svanitians. The legend has it that the duchy was annually visited by Tamar. The Svans had been known as fierce warriors for centuries. Their inflatable war banner was named Lemmy Lion because of its shape. The marauding Mongols never reached Svanisha and, for a time, the region became a cultural safe house. Following the final disintegration of the Kingdom of Georgia in the 1460s, fighting broke out for controlling the province. Part of Upper Svanisha formed an independent principality under the princes Dadeshkeliani, a branch of the Gelivani family, while Lower Svanisha, originally ruled by the princes Gelivani, was temporarily usurped and subdued by the Mingrelian princes Dadiani. Facing serious internal conflict, Prince Tsioq of Svanisha signed a treaty of protectorate with the Russian Empire on November 26, 1833. Difficult to access, the region retained significant autonomy until 1857, when Russia took advantage of the dynastic feud in Svanisha and effectively abolished the principality's autonomy. In 1875, the Russians toughened their rule by imposing additional taxes. Protests ensued, and Russia deployed troops against the province. Despite having suffered heavy losses, the Russian army units eventually crushed the rebels burning their stronghold Kal to the ground in 1876. Part of the Russian governorate of Kutais, Svanisha was divided into two rayons districts, Mestia former Sadi, and Lenteki, under the Soviet rule. The unsuccessful anti-Soviet Svanishan uprising took place in the region in 1921. In 1987, avalanches destroyed several homes and killed at least 80, many of them school children. In the aftermath the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and the Council of Ministers of the Soviet Union passed a decree to resettle some 2,500 families to districts of eastern Georgia eco-migration to Marnuli, Tetrascaro, Bolnisi, Sagarejo, Gardabani, D. Manisi, Kaspi, Skaltubo, Kony, Ozergeti, and Lanchkuti rayons. The end of the Soviet Union and subsequent Georgian Civil War created severe socio-economic problems in the region. While the Svanitian population resisted the unpleasant conditions of the high mountain environment they lived in for centuries, the increasing economic difficulties of the last two decades and frequent natural disasters—floods and landslides as of April 2005 have brought about a strong tendency towards migration. The province became a safe haven for criminals threatening local residents and tourists. Large-scale anti-criminal operations carried out by the Georgian Special Forces as of March 2004 resulted in significant improvement of the situation. Population The Svans, the indigenous population of Svanisha, are ethnic subgroup of the Georgians. Until the 1930s, Mingrelians and Svans had their own census grouping, but were classified under the broader category of Georgian thereafter. They are Georgian Orthodox Christians, and were Christianized in the 4th-6th centuries. However, some remnants of old paganism have been maintained. Saint George, known as Jagarag to the locals, a patron saint of Georgia, is the most respected saint. The Svans have retained many of their old traditions, including blood revenge. Their families are small, and the husband is the head of his family. The Svan really respect the older women in families, typically bilingual, they use both Georgian and their own, unwritten Svan language, which together with the Georgian, Mingrelian, and Laz languages constitute the South Caucasian or Kartvelian language family. Culture and tourism 
Svanisha is known for their architectural treasures and picturesque landscapes. The botany of Svanisha is legendary among travelers. The famous Svanishan tower houses erected mainly in the 9th–12th centuries, make the region's villages more attractive. In the province are dozens of Georgian Orthodox churches and various fortified buildings. Architectural monuments of Upper Svanisha are included in a list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Svan culture survives most wonderfully in its songs and dances. Svanisha boasts arguably the most archaic three-part polyphonic singing. Most of their songs are connected to round dances, are performed very loud and are full of dissonant chords. See also Samagrelo Zemo Svaneti Racha Lechkami and K. Vimo Svaneti Kodori Valley Dadeshkeliani Ushguli Gelavani <laughs>